and welcome to the 15th Java programming video. In this video I'm going to introduce you to two new types of layouts and something called a panel. I got an image over here so I can explain how for example a grid layout works. Basically a grid layout can be placed inside a panel or a JFrame and it will align its components in a grid. For example in this case we have a grid layout with the row 2 and two columns and it will allow us to have four components inside of it and their space will be divided equally as you can see over here both of all of them will take up like 25 percent of the total size of the layout and order that you put your components is in is displayed over here you go in the row first and when you reach the end you go to the next column so that was basically how a grid layout works and a panel is usually added on top of a JFrame or even on another panel and the thing about a panel is that it can store both a layout and components so the goal of this video is to create two panels and each of them will have their own layout and their own components and also they will have their own background color we're also going to use something called a box layout and basically it is a bit more advanced version than a flow layout. It allows you to stack your components on top of each other, like you have done over here. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. First of all we're going to create a new layout to our frame. Set layout, new grid layout. And I have gone ahead and start from where we left off in the last video. New grid layout with the amount of rows, two and two columns. Alright. And we're going to need two panels. So J panel, panel left. New J panel. J panel, panel right. New J, pa J panel. So there we go. And now we actually need to attach our panels on top of our grid and actually I do not want two rows and two columns I only want one one row so I'm gonna go ahead and change that okay uh, let's attach our panels that we frame dot add panel left frame dot add panel right Alright, now let's change the background to our frames or to, our, or to change the background color on our panels so we can actually see how much space they take up. So you type out the panel name and then call the set background color. The set background. And then you can just go ahead and type color and the color you want, for example blue. Then you can go ahead and do the same thing for your other panel and we're going to have the color red for this one there we go. let's go ahead and run it and see if it works yeah as you can see they both take up about the half width of the screen and the whole height so that's exactly how we want it and as I said before we want both of them to contain their own layouts and components so we're going to set a layout for our panels panel left dot set layout new flow layout there we go and for our panel right we're going to create a new box layout layout dot x y axis so basically this is one way on how you can create a box layout. You type in the target for the current panel that you want to have the layout inside and then you type how you want to position the components by typing box layout with the capitals as you can see and then dot and you have some options over here. For example x axis would store them from left to right, y axis from top to bottom. And then there are some others also but we're not going to use them. So something like that. Alright. 
And let's go ahead and add the text and the button to our button left, our panel left. We can just type panel left dot add uh, button. Panel left dot add text. Go ahead and run it and see if it works. Yeah. All right. It's not easy to see the text, but whatever, whatever. And I'm going. I'm going to cut the video and create. Uh, a bunch of buttons to our panel right. There we go. This will uh, create 10 buttons to our panel right. I created a little method that will create X amount of buttons. And as you can see, they are, as you can see, they are positioned on top of each other, just as we wanted. So yeah, that was all for this video. I showed you how you can use panels to assign layouts and components and divide up, divide up your frame into different parts. And also showed you how to change the background color and how to use a grid layout and a box layout. So yeah, that was all. Stay tuned for the next video. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel, give the videos a thumbs up, and maybe even share them. It would really help a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and upload the source code for all of the YouTube Java programming videos. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully I will see you then. And bye bye.